So in today's video, we're going to be looking at the handbrake on the caravan. Now, when you put the caravan into storage, should you have the handbrake on or off? Let's find out. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get up to 15,000 subscribers before January. So hit that subscribe button, please. Um, give us some comments and hit the like button. So today's video, we're looking at handbrakes, especially if you're putting the caravan into storage, if you're not gonna use the caravan for a couple of months. Realistically, we don't wanna be leaving that handbrake on. Um, and the reason for that is that basically it's just gonna stick the springs that are in the brake shoes, it's gonna stretch those and it's just gonna stop the, um, the handbrake working as effectively. There is a couple of, couple of scenarios. We've had it previously where we've gone to pick caravans up and they've had the handbrake on for a long period of time and the brakes have actually stuck on. So you'll sort of take the handbrake off, but it still just won't move. Now, if that does happen for you, there is something that you can do um, to release that. Now, this is where it, it comes in and it depends where you've parked the caravan. If you've parked it right up against something at the very back, it's, it's gonna be quite tough. But if you've got a little bit of room at the back, a good foot or two, what we're gonna to have to do is hitch the car up to the caravan or put the motor mover on and actually move the caravan backwards. And because of the overrun device on the caravan, so as we brake, um, it puts the brakes on or as we reverse, it then takes the brakes off. It works in the same thing. So. By pushing the caravan backwards, it allows that the, the actual brakes can fall off. Um, so it's got more allowability to sort of let the brakes come unstuck rather than when you go forwards, it binds against the brakes. So with them already being stuck on, it's gonna be pretty impossible to actually pull the caravan forward and get the brakes to drop off without doing damage to either the brake drums or the brake shoes themselves. So by going backwards, it should allow the brake shoes to fall off um, come unstuck and then you can actually pull forward so what we want to do when we're putting the caravan into storage is obviously if we're going to remove that handbrake we want to sort of allow a little bit of room so that the caravan can go backwards still so allow a foot or so and then we want to chock the wheel so um bricks um they do obviously the proper chocks that you can sort of put at the front and the back and whether it's a twin axle or a single axle um, front and the back of one of the wheels. So we want to put a chock at the front, chock at the back, and then release the handbrake. And we want to do that both sides. Even if you don't want to go to the expense of buying chocks, a couple of bricks, big bricks behind the, the wheels, one in front, one behind, and do that both sides, and then we can release that handbrake. You don't want to leave the motor mover connected because that's going to put an indentation into the into the tire. So if you sort of think of it, well, actually I've got a motor mover, I could connect that up to the wheels, uh, take my handbrake off and that'll stop it from moving. The problem is that roller is going to be pressed in against the, the wheel and it's going to cause damage to your tyre. So you want to make sure that your motor mover is disconnected and we've just got a chock, either a brick or a proper chock at the front, a chock at the back and we want to do that both sides. Drop that handbrake off and that should then stop any issues. The other thing that we want to make sure is if we have reversed the caravan into place, that on our extension here on our hitch, that this has come back out. Now, if that's gone in, uh, effectively, that is gonna leave the, the brakes on the caravan as well. So that's gonna be sort of like putting the handbrake on. So what you wanna make sure is that when you've disconnected, that they've got this gap here um, from the hitch to the A-frame. If you haven't, what you're going to want to do is grease up the, the grease nipples on here and there is one underneath as well and then we're going to want to sort of pull this back out by a bit of jiggling and this will allow the hitch to come back out, take the brakes back off uh, and again stop any issues. So if you've been wondering whether you should have the handbrake on or off, um, definitely for any more than three or four weeks, you want to be taking that handbrake off. So especially now coming up to winter storage, make sure chop your wheels, handbrake off, and you shouldn't have any issues. Thanks for watching, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.